Hi friends, today my book is called The Gingerbread Man. It's written by Bonnie Dobkin and illustrated by Paula Pertle. So Bonnie wrote the words and Paula drew the pictures. Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman owned a little old bakery. They baked cakes, pies, breads, muffins, popovers, so light that they floated. But they loved to make gingerbread cookies. They made gingerbread girls, gingerbread boys, gingerbread rabbits, gingerbread squirrels, gingerbread cats, gingerbread dogs, gingerbread homes made from gingerbread logs. Look at all that gingerbread. <clears throat> I know, said the little old woman one day. Let's make a big gingerbread man and put him in our bakery window. They mix up some flour and butter and eggs, enough for a body, two arms and two legs. They rolled the dough flat with an old rolling pin and they laid out shapes on the baking tin. They popped the cookie into the oven and they waited. Have you ever used a rolling pin? And what did you use it for? A wonderful aroma filled the room. The little old woman and the little old man sniffed and sighed. Suddenly, there was a rattling and a clattering. Let me out, cried a voice from inside. The oven, let me out now. <gasps> what are their faces? What are they thinking? How are they feeling right now? The little old woman flung open the door and out popped the gingerbread man. You're alive, said the little old man. You can talk, said the little old woman. Yes, said the gingerbread man, and I can run away from you. Goodbye. And out the door he ran. The little old woman and the little old man chased after him. Wait, come back. We begged you to put inside of our window. But the gingerbread man just left. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And just watch me prove it, he yelled. The gingerbread man dashed down the middle of the street. He ran by a policeman and stuck out his tongue. Was that kind of the gingerbread man? Hey, said the police officer, you can't insult an officer of the law. Then he smiled the wonderful gingerbread smell and said, but you would make a wonderful snack. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the little old lady and the little old man, and I can run away from you too. And on the very edge of town, the gingerbread man passed a mangy dog eating out of the garbage can. And he kicked the can as he raced by. Ow! yelled the dog, pulling his head out. Now that was just plain mean. What, how is the gingerbread man acting? And how did that make the puppy feel? Then he sniffed the wonderful gingerbread smell. Wait, you would taste much better than this garbage, said the dog. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from the officer of the law. I am the fastest thing on gingerbread feet, and next part of my plan is to run, run, run far away from you, too. Now the gingerbread man ran out of town into a field where there was a horse and a cow. He zoomed up to them and he yanked their tails. Oh, how did that make the cow feel? And how did that make the, cow, the horse feel? What is he doing? Is he being kind? 
Does he have helping hands? Ouch! yelled the horse. <gasps> you nasty creature, cried the cow. And then they sniffed the wonderful gingerbread smell. Now wait, come back. You'd be much tastier than this grass. But the gingerbread man just laughed and said, run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from the police officer and the dog in the garbage can. I'm the fastest thing on gingerbread feet. And the next part of my plan is to run, run, run away from you too. Suddenly, what's his face? What's he thinking and feeling? The gingerbread came to a wide river and stopped. He knew that water and cookies do not mix. You look worried, said a voice. Who's there? The gingerbread man looked up and a fox stood smiling at him. I am worried, the gingerbread man said. You see, I ran away from the little old woman, the little old man, and I ran away from the officer and a dog in the garbage can. I ran away from a very mad horse and I ran away from a very mad cow. I run so far and I run too fast to let them catch me now. Look at, he's ran from all of them. Climb on my back, said the fox, stepping into the river. I'll carry you across. Oh no, you don't, said the gingerbread man, jumping back. You want to eat me too. What do you think the fox wants to do? Is that what he wants to do? I don't even like cookies, said the fox. Just climb on my tail, as far away from my mouth as you can get. All right, said the gingerbread man. That seems safe. And he hopped onto the fox's tail. The fox moved into the river. After a time, he grunted, my tail is getting very tired. Would you mind moving onto my back? No problem, said the gingerbread man. Halfway across the river, the water got deeper. You know, I think you'd be much safer on my shoulders. <gasps> you might be right, said the gingerbread man. So he scooted up onto his shoulders. Now they were in the deepest part of the river. Even my shoulders are not high enough. Then I'll get on your head, said the gingerbread man. And he climbed in between the fox's ears. Hmm. Look at the fox's face. What do you think he's thinking right now? Finally, they reached the side of the river. Ha, said the gingerbread man. I told them they'd never catch me. Thank you, Mr. Fox. Flip. The fox tossed back his head. Snap. He caught the gingerbread man in his jaws. Crunch. That was the end of the gingerbread man. The fox sat under a tree licking the crumbs from his lips. He was the fastest thing on gingerbread feet. It's a shame I ruined his plan. But that, I'm afraid, is what happens to every tasty gingerbread man. The end.